A gun muzzle flash effect has been one of the most requested projects here. So we're going to make some today with a little bit of paint and some hot glue. This action figure effect can be scaled up or down to fit any size of figure. The materials I'll be using today are a detailed glue gun, glue sticks, paint brushes, clear orange paint, clear yellow paint, matte sealant, poster wall mounting putty, and parchment paper. We're going to start by doing a bit of origami. Yep, you heard that correctly. We start off with a piece of parchment paper and fold the parchment paper in half to form a triangle. And you can see the end here is a little uneven, so I'm just going to trim that off. So now we have a square. Next, fold your triangle in half again. And then unfold it halfway and then kind of separate the two flaps of the triangle. And we're just going to squish this down to form a square on top here. We're going to be repeating this step several times if you missed it, so you'll get the chance to see it again. Flip the whole piece over. And then we're going to lift this flap right here. And I'm going to make a square by squishing it down like so. So here's what we have to, so far, a square with on top of a square, pretty much. Okay, take the, one of these top flaps, the left or right, it doesn't matter. I'm going to fold it over to the right here, and then I'm going to squish that down to make a triangle. Flip the piece over and repeat on the opposite side to make another triangle. And then I'm just going to fold that one in half to move that flap out of the way. And then I'm going to pick up this next large flap and do the same thing. Squish it down to form a triangle. And I'm going to flip it upside down. Fold that piece in half to get it out of the way. And then we have one large flap left. I'm going to squish that one down. And then I'm going to fold it in half and flip it over and fold the other one in half as well. So here's what it looks like so far. Now, this is obviously a pretty big piece. You would need a really large gun in order to, for this to be in scale. So I'm just going to trim off the very top part of it because that's all I need. So maybe, maybe that much. You're probably wondering, why didn't we just start with a smaller square then? Well, it's harder to fold it when it's smaller. For me, anyway. So here's what we have, and this is going to form the pattern for our muzzle flash effect. Next, we need to get our glue gun ready, and today I'm working with my detail glue gun. Okay, my glue gun's warmed up now, so take your paper pattern and just put it on your finger like a little hat. And I'm going to start by applying glue on the very tip of this starburst. And then I'm just going to kind of drag it down along these lines and also in between them. I'm not applying the glue too thick, just enough to cover it. 
and then we'll give that a couple minutes to sit so that the glue will cool before we try to remove it. A couple minutes have passed, so now I'm going to try to remove that glue from our pattern. I'm just going to start here at the ends and just kind of use my fingernail to pull up the edges of the pieces of glue. And there we go. Depending on how far down you moved your glue, you can achieve different sizes of this effect. It seems like you can reuse your patterns a couple times before they start to stick more and you might need to make a new one. Now if you don't like this being hollow here in the center, you could always take a piece of flat glue like I did in my Pokemon Evolution Stones video, like this piece here, and just kind of trim the edges of it a little bit to form a triangle. And then you could glue that triangle inside the middle there. It doesn't take too much glue for it to get stuck in there. And now you can see there's a little piece, if my camera will focus, there's a little piece of glue there in the center so it's not hollow. Next I'm going to paint the effect with some clear yellow paint. And I may add a little bit of orange to maybe the outer edges or maybe the inside, just to make it a little more interesting looking. I haven't decided quite yet though. I'm just going to paint the outside for now and then I'm going to let it dry before I move to the inside. This one I painted yellow earlier, so let's just see what it looks like with a little bit of orange highlights on it. And I'm using some clear orange paint. And I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit to these high points on the inside and kind of blend them in with the yellow a little bit. Then to protect the paint, I like to apply a little bit of matte varnish. Especially since we're going to be using poster mounting wall putty to attach this to the weapons. You don't want that yellow paint pulling off at the tip. And to attach the muzzle flash to your choice of firearms, just use a little bit of poster wall mounting putty. It's cheap and removable. And there's a completed project. But before you go, I have some photos to share from viewers who gave some of my previous projects a try. First up is Abhishek Rod Photography from Facebook, who made the glasses craft for Old Man Logan. I love this photo, just when you thought Old Man Logan couldn't get any grumpier looking. Next up is The Dark Knight from Twitter, who made the Spider Sense project. Another amazing photo, and you could tell that Spidey is in some trouble here. Great job, guys! If you want to try making those items yourself, check out my playlist of crafting for action figures and other toys for the instructions. And if you do try any of my projects, I'd love to be able to share your photos too. Just give me a link to your pictures in the comments below or send them to me on social media. So now we've made gun holsters and a gun muzzle flash effect. So what's coming up next? Hmm, if only there was an easy way of making copies of our existing weapons. Oh, there is. So if you don't want to miss out on that and other future projects, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.